is staking Ethereum in the future, in the near future possibly, only going to be reserved for, let's say, the institutional investors or for the big cryptocurrency exchanges or the big whales holding Ethereum and running staking nodes? Will the little guy be pushed out and will Ethereum network be even more centralized after this new proposal has been released? There's a lot that you need to know about this proposal and I encourage you, if you are a holder of Ethereum, if you are staking your Ethereum, to watch this video in its entirety. You're gonna learn a lot. Uh, if you enjoy these updates, hit the like button, hit subscribe to this channel. We certainly appreciate it. We're almost at 200,000 uh, subscribers. You guys, let's get to 200,000. And then we'll look back in this video in the future and be like, wow, those were little numbers because we're gonna keep going. Okay, anyway, if you wanna know which, uh, how much Ethereum makes up in our cryptocurrency portfolio and how we can sleep at night, Go ahead and check out a link to the CT Club down below in the video description. We offer trade alerts. Also, Toby's always giving you his thoughts on what's happening in the market. Bitcoin is pumping, Ethereum is pumping. So if you wanna know our thoughts on why that's happening, gotta check out Toby. Also, you gotta check out Toby on Twitter. You can find him there at Sir Crypto Tips. Highly recommend it. Okay, so there is a recent proposal now for Ethereum. This happened you know, over a week ago, and there's a lot of discussions. I will include a link to this proposal and the comments and the criticisms and the questions all are down below in the video description. I encourage you guys to check that out. As it currently stands, Ethereum has now shifted to proof of stake. And the minimum required and the maximum required to uh, run a staking node independently is 32 Ethereum. Now for most retail investors, that's a, that's a pretty hefty price at today's you know fiat based prices for Ethereum. Um, but this proposal is raising that number to 2048 Ethereum, or is it? It's a big number and it's getting a lot of people's attention. It certainly got my attention. But as it stands, if you are running a staking node, you have 32 Ethereum, any uh, subsequent staking rewards in Ethereum that you're gonna get, you can't automatically compound that onto um, your staking to bolster your staking rewards even more. You're gonna have to basically accumulate until you can run a separate staking node. Um, and this way, they're trying to encourage the decentralization of the network, more nodes uh, running the network. I think they've planned to have about a million staking nodes happening on Ethereum at the current, I think right now they have about 600,000. The vast majority of those are run by cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance and Coinbase, for example. Now, this proposal is not saying that the new minimum will be 2,048 Ethereum, no, 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 which some might jump, you know, have a knee-jerk reaction and thinking, oh my gosh, I, can, I can't afford 32 Ethereum. How am I supposed to run a staking note if the, the minimum is 2,048? No, they're saying that the minimum will be 32 and the maximum will be 2,048, allowing people, stakers, to auto compound their staking rewards um, and basically letting them cut some overhead costs and run less staking nodes. Um, again, in this proposal, there it's all explained and I highly uh, recommend that you guys check it out, especially if you're running a staking node or if you're staking your Ethereum through staking services like Lido, for example. It's important to note also that this is an opt-in a proposal. It is not something that everyone will be forced to go through. It's also important to note that this maximum does not mean that some staking note that, that let's say has 2048 Ethereum will suddenly be have much more uh, influence over the network either because it's always proportionate to that stake over the entire network. So whether that entity has one staking validator that has 2048 or it has several hundred um, of validators that are all maintained by the same entity anyway, uh, also staking on the network, it all evens out basically. Another thing to know that I maybe not so many people realize with Ethereum, the way that they achieve governance is off chain. Not like Bitcoin, where there is these Bitcoin improvement proposals, BIPs, and nodes signal if they're going to run the updated software or not. Um, that's how Bitcoin operates, it's on-chain governance. You know exactly what's gonna be happening based on who is signaling towards what proposal. Ethereum uses off-chain governance. That means that the core developers meet 
together off chain socially through a video call and they discuss the pros and cons and the different proposals up for grabs and the security concerns um, and then they come together socially and decide when and if they're going to activate these proposals. There is a weekly meeting for the Ethereum developers. They do have a YouTube channel that publishes these calls uh, every week they don't get that many views for ethereum being the second largest cryptocurrency based on market cap they're getting maybe a thousand views on a video um but to be fair you know they've only consistently been posting videos the past five months so obviously once they've shifted from proof of stake they've upped their efforts in being more transparent but yeah, it's kind of crazy that these guys aren't getting very much attention. So if you guys want to know the ins and outs of what's happening with Ethereum, what they're looking to develop in the future, uh, what security concerns they have, how they're mitigating them, you got to check out that YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link for it down below in the video description as well. So anyway, that's just a, your update on what's happening with Ethereum. If you guys, again, enjoy this, hit like and subscribe. Check out the CT Club. I highly recommend it. How could I not? I do. We do our best to help you guys as best we can. So anyway... Bye, guys. <laughs>